Hello everyone, welcome to Europedia. This is Chandrasekhar, Faculty of Electrical and Electronic Engineering at uh, Europedia. This video is related to your CGPDT um, mains examination preparation. We all know that on 25th of Jan, the tentative date of uh, this uh, CGPDT um, mains examination is uh, 25th Jan. So the date uh, has been already announced. Many students are in confusion what to prepare, what not to prepare. They are under lots of pressure. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to prepare and what to prepare. This You can treat this uh, video as uh, one uh, good guidance or preparation strategy for your CCPDT mains examination preparation. Let's uh, dive into the details. That is, uh, uh, mains is going to have two papers, mains paper one and paper two. Paper one is objective, OMR based, okay, objective it is. Paper two is uh, main, our, uh, I can say, descriptive examination technical paper okay paper one is a uh, non technical paper two is non technical uh, uh, sorry paper one is non technical paper two is technical in mains in mains it is having two papers right uh, in mains paper one uh, we have uh, general knowledge and current affairs okay general aptitude elementary mathematics english language proficiency knowledge related to intellectual property ipr it is okay so it is of 100 marks it is of 100 marks and paper two descriptive is uh, technical knowledge it is of 300 marks for three hours and marks for three hours and paper one objective paper is of uh, yes it is of two hours it is of 100 marks okay so what i suggest you is um, give more priority for this i can say technical paper i i am not saying that uh, give less priority to this uh, i can say non-technical part non-technical part these things only you already studied for prelims examination some portion of the or most of the portion for non-technical you already covered in prelims part so most uh, uh, concentration should be there on this uh, i can say technical knowledge uh, paper technical paper see let's uh, see the syllabus in syllabus uh, uh, if you see the syllabus we get uh, some clarity then after that we'll see the question paper or let's see the question paper first so we'll get some clarity then we go for the syllabus yes i'm i'm going into the question paper directly yeah this is the previous paper this is one of the previous papers uh, which was conducted uh, which was given uh, on uh, for the CGPDTM examination okay electrical engineering paper so uh, if you see there are four sections section a section b section c and section d section a is going to have three questions Section A is going to have three questions. Each question is having two parts again, A and B. Every question of section A, uh, three questions it is going to have. Each sec each question is going to have total again two sub parts. Okay. Total how many questions are there now? Six questions. Three questions. Each question is having again two. Two plus two plus two. A B, A B, A B. Like that, three questions, right? Two parts, A B. Each question carries 12 marks. Each question carries marks okay total of 36 marks section a section b again same three questions again question one is going to have two questions a and b two parts it is and uh, each question is going to carry 20 marks uh, for each question it is 20 marks uh, means uh, for both the bits a and b for both the questions a and b it is 20 in the section a also for both uh, uh, including a and b it is 12 marks section c is also going to have three marks it is going to have uh, again a and b for each question and each question is going to carry 28 marks section d is going to have again three questions uh, each is going to again uh, have two questions uh, two sub questions and each question is going to have 40 marks each co each question is of uh, 40 marks so if you add all that you are going to get uh, 300 right now if you see the questions if you see the questions most of the questions are numericals i can say see 100 percent of the questions are numerical in the previous papers but i can say at least 95 questions 95 percent of the questions are 98 percent of the questions are numericals so one must concentrate uh, on solving numericals i suggest you to take any standard textbook and solve all the solved examples and exercise questions not objective questions only i can say complete this uh, descriptive questions okay and writing answer for a question uh, is also one of the good art for an objective question see these days most of the exams are of objective so many students are tuned for objective type of answering uh, therefore it's uh, again required for them to practice how to write a descriptive paper how to write if a question is given first of all you have to write the given data okay so with that itself uh, for the correcting person who is correcting that question he will understand whether you understood the given data in a correct way or not then uh, then write uh, required statements or formulas whatever it is only required please uh, 
do not fill the pages for the namesake some people they will they keep on filling the pages they'll see that more more is length is answer more number of marks is going to get that is the wrong conception right so write all the formulas substitute do the calculations properly the calculation doing correct calculations is very important and most important thing is in the last there should be conclusion or answer you did everything but uh, you forgot to write the final answer then it will have uh, no impact right you see uh, here the first question is from I can say EDC for electrical paper uh, the, those they asked questions from EDC see for electrical there are no two subjects like EDC and long analog both are combinedly one subject only so it is electronic devices in that itself uh, analog also will cover okay yeah first question A and B both are from I can say uh, in question number one both uh, both of uh, question A and question B both are from uh, EDC or analog whatever it is second question it looks like it is from uh, I can say measurements but it is from control systems okay it is from control systems second question all are numericals in this paper all are numericals okay you see the third question this is from circuit breakers from power systems in third question question A is from power system question B is from motors DC shunt motor it is a DC machine DC machine so, right come to section B section B the first question fourth question uh, is from signals and systems fifth question is from I can say power electronics yes a three phase fully controlled thyristor means power electronics okay EDC analog control system power system electrical machine signals and system right and uh, next one is also power electronics come to the next question sixth question so sixth question yes uh, it is uh, from network analysis network analysis in sixth question question B is uh, from synchronous machines synchronous machines all are numericals look at this carefully all are numericals right come on section C you see in section C first question is from control systems both A and B both the bits are from control system that too from the concept uh, controllers okay if you observe it carefully from control systems two questions were asked in section A one question both A and B bits in section C yes sir seventh question with the uh, first question section C with respect to section C it is first question or if you see the overall question number it is question number seven both A and B bits are from control systems and uh, eighth question you see it is from again analog electronics or see uh, I can say this question uh, is asking us to find the transfer function uh, you can treat this question from control systems or from analog electronics but uh, yeah if you look at the question, uh, question B in question number 8 it is from control system is asking under what conditions on the network parameters so the system is a lead network so control system see good weightage is there for the subject control systems in the previous paper right look at question number 9 it is from power system yes it is from power system yeah from transmission part and uh, question B is uh, a general question I can say it, uh, this can be treated as a question from network analysis three phase or from power system transmission basics of transmission basics of transmission right yes let's go to next uh, section D in section D you see uh, question number 10 a 10 a is from analog electronics or EDC what are it is right for electrical we do not have two subjects in our curriculum when we studied BTEC okay that comes under one subject only right yeah question number four for 10 B you see it is from diesel electronics ship about this is about uh, resistors shift resistors and all XR gates right yeah next uh, question number 11 you see it is 11 a is from power system 11 B is also from power system control systems and power system analog electronics are having good weightage but it doesn't mean that in the upcoming examination also it is going to have uh, the same weightage my point here is prepare these subjects prepare these subjects electrical engineering or let's go back to the syllabus there we will discuss there we will discuss so this is the syllabus of electrical engineering circuit theory mandatory subject is network analysis network analysis or circuit theory signals and system definitely one question you get from signals and system right electromagnetic field theory okay analog electronics digital electronics and uh, after that energy conversion is saying that uh, energy conversion energy conversion yes see in the energy conversion yes instead of uh, giving the name as electrical machines that fellow mentioned the name as energy conversion you see DC machines characteristics transformers and all okay next this is machines only this is electrical machines uh, subject machines 
electrical machines right next uh, power electronic and drives power electronics and drives yes power electronics and uh, drives yes analog com uh, communication yeah this is one important thing students must remember for you in syllabus communication is also mentioned for electrical guys okay yeah analog communication control systems those you see the syllabus of control systems is very less but that fellow asked uh, more than three or four questions in the previous paper right next uh, uh, this this total is control system syllabus next uh, microprocessor and microcontrollers and after that we have uh, measurements and instrumentation electrical measurements and instrumentation right the next uh, is uh, i can say uh, power systems after that power system protection and digital communication right so my suggestion here is as you are left with less time only 20 days of time you are left with i suggest you to go for the numericals mostly if you understand the question, if you remember the formula, then solving a numerical is very, very easy when compared to writing, when compared to uh, writing, uh, I can say theory, right? And a numerical is going to have a definite solution and you will be satisfied and you will be getting good marks. How to get good marks in CGP DTM descriptive examination? Maintain your writing uh, in a clear manner. I mean to say it must be understandable uh, to the uh, correct uh, the correcting person who is going to evaluate your paper okay the paper evaluator must understand your language right and mention the necessary formulas and if there are any assumptions mention those assumptions and finally in the last of every question in the last place of every question uh, solution there must be answer conclusion it must be answer or conclusion take standard textbooks the standard textbooks for each subject, subject you know for network analysis uh, you go with the uh, envoy study or alexander both others uh, wrote that book right for network analysis there are lots of uh, 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 solid examples at this time don't go for exercise just to go through solid examples one advantage if you are going with the solid exam going through solid examples is you learn the concept also if you don't know that is one thing right for control systems you go with the uh, Norman S. Nice. Yeah. Let me write uh, the books uh, what you have to prefer uh, for uh, subjects. Yeah. So for network analysis, you go with Alexander, right? Alexander textbook. You'll get the soft copies also. Control systems, you go with the uh, Norman S. Nice. Norman S. Nice. Yeah. And uh, uh, digital electronics digital electronics yes any standard book uh, you can go through okay any standard book you can go through it digital electronics or uh, i can say foreign author textbooks uh, any one of the foreign author textbook you go, go through okay analog analog electronics if you want to go through sedra and smith sedra and smith Okay, so power systems, CL Vadva, NF, CL Vadva is more than NF. Electrical machines, PS Bimbra is a god. Okay, PS Bimbra, NF, PS Bimbra is more than NF. And power electronics, for that also you go through PS Bimbra. Right? Yes. So these are the textbook references for your preparation so all the best all of you if you have any queries uh, uh, reach us uh, in the mentioned uh, contact number thank you